Hello and welcome. In this video, we will learn what is an empty set and we will take a look at some examples of empty sets. Now, empty set, as the name suggests, is empty. That means a set that does not contain any elements. Also, it is important to note that we refer to empty set as null set or void set. They all mean the same. Now, in earlier videos, we have learned about what is a set, what is an element, and so on and so forth. And also, in the last video, we learned about set builder form and the roster or tabular form of representing a set. So we learned that a set typically is represented as we open a curly bracket, then we list all the elements, and then we separate the elements by comma, and then once we are done, we put a closing curly bracket. This is how we represent the set in a roster or set builder form. So what will be the equivalent way of representing an empty set? Well, we will still do our curly braces or brackets, and now, there is nothing going to be inside them. It will be empty because there are no elements. Also, we use this symbol to represent an empty set, like a lowercase o with a line going across it. And this is also known as phi, P-H-I. So this is a symbol that represents empty set, or we can represent in this form where we have the opening closing brackets, but there are no elements inside it. Now let's take a look at some actual conditions that may give rise to empty sets. So let's say here we want to write out set A that such that set A contains element x where x squared minus 5 equals 0 and x is a rational number. So first let's, let's solve this equation and see what we get. So we have x squared minus 5 equals 0. Now we can write this as x squared minus for 5 we can write it as square root 5 whole square equals 0. Now this is in the form of a square minus b square. So we can write this as x plus square root 5 times x minus square root 5 equals 0. And this will tell us, it will imply we have two solutions, x equals plus square root 5 and x equals minus square root 5. So if our question is write set A, such that it is, it contains element x and x squared minus 5 equals 0. If this is the only criteria, if this is the only criteria, then our set A will look like plus square root 5 minus square root 5. So this should be the answer. But our actual question contains two conditions. It is this and we have two conditions and this is our second condition that x is a rational number. So it has to satisfy both the conditions. Now, are any of these numbers rational numbers? They both are irrational numbers. And hence, our set actually is an empty set. There are no elements, or we can represent it in this fashion. There are no elements in our set A. Let's take a look at second example. So what about we have a set B where it contains element x, such as x is a student of class 9 and class 10. <laughs> so as you can imagine, now think of any student, right? That the student can be either a student of class 9 or he or she can be a student of class 10. At the same time, one person cannot be student of both class 9 and class 10, and hence our set B is an empty set. Let's take a look at one final example before we wrap up this video. So here we, we want to write set C where it contains x, where x belongs to natural number and 2x plus 1 equals 0. So how are we going to solve this? So when the, the first part x belongs to natural number, we know what are natural numbers. So natural numbers is simply a collection or a set of numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, goes all the way to plus infinity. So x can be any one of these numbers. And our second condition is that 2x plus 1 equals 0. So let's solve this. 2x plus 1 equals 0. Let's get the plus 1 on the other side. So we will get 2x equals minus 1. Now let's divide both sides by 2. So this will cancel out. So we will be left with x. Or in other words, x equals minus 1 by 2. So minus 1 by 2. So x has so x is minus 1 by 2. But this is not a natural number. Natural numbers are these numbers. So we say that set C is a null set, void set, empty set, 
or it does not contain any elements or another way or another conclusion we can draw is that number of elements in set C is zero. So n within brackets the set represents the number of elements in a set. So for all of the empty sets the number of elements in the set will be zero.